you're well and everyone's staying safe and at home. Um, today I'm going to be running a drawing art class. It's the last art class out of the five free ones I've been running over these past five weeks. Um, we've gone through loads of different themes, so we started off with acrylic, then acrylic pouring, lino cutting and printing, watercolour and now on to drawing. Um, and drawing's really great because you don't need many materials. So if you don't have many art supplies at home, that's fine. All you're going to need is some paper. I'm using the Zilla heavyweight cartridge paper. I like this because it's nice and smooth textures are really great for drawing. Um, but also it's nice and thick. So if you did draw something that you really liked, it's just got that quality behind the paper. Um, also, I sometimes like to add a little splash of colour on here, maybe using some paints, and it's thick enough to kind of absorb that. But for today, we're just going to be doing the drawing. So if you don't have any heavyweight cartridge paper, that's fine. Any type of paper will do. Um, then you're just going to need a pencil and a rubber. Fairly simple, I'm pretty sure everyone has that at home. And any pens that you've got. So I'm going to be using this Zilla Fineliner pen set, which again, I love, comes with 12 different pens, all different sizes. Um, but again, if you don't have any of those, not to worry, some biros or anything you've got lying around the house will do. Um, once you kind of get the taste of drawing, you never know, you might really like it and get into it. For which case, you can order some fine liners from Zilla Art Supplies. They're still open for business and doing next day delivery, so it's great to entertain us over this period of time. Um, then I've just got some random household items. So just circular shapes. So I've got a bowl, some tape and a shot glass. It's all just different size circular shapes which are going to help us in our drawing today and a ruler. So today's theme is going to be mandalas which is super fun, easy and very relaxing to do. So I thought I'm just going to show you how to do that. It doesn't take too much skill involved. I'm going to explain it step by step. So even if you haven't done any drawing before you'll manage this and you'll be surprised how cute it's going to look in the end. So yeah, if you gather up those items, I'm going to bring you over to the desk so that you can see my drawing and we're going to get started. So just pens, pencils, rubber, paper, circular items and a ruler. So go off around your house and find those items and then we'll get started. Okay, so anyone who's just joined, welcome to my drawing class and the theme is mandalas. So, to begin with, I've got all my things laid out, and like I said, you don't need many art supplies for this. So I've just got my paper, I'm going to open it up to a nice fresh sheet. So here I have my plain sheet. Now, to start with, I'm going to use my circular items to create some circles. So what we're going to do initially, using our pencil, is we're going to draw our template uh, for our mandala. So the template just makes it really easy to fill in with all the kind of shapes and patterns and it also helps to keep it symmetrical and look really neat. So I'm not the neatest person in the world, so I just like, I don't mind things being a little bit wonky, but you can be as precise as you want with this. So if you do have like a compass, it would be more precise, but bowls work out perfectly. So this is my outer circle, which I'm just going to draw around this bowl and then trying to place it in the middle you might just want to check you've kind of got it even then going to draw around the tape going to draw around both the outer circle and the inner circle Ta-da! and then my really small circle in the middle And put your circular items to the side. I don't know if you can see on here, I might have done it too fine, but um, we're going to be going over in pen and rubbing out our pencil marks, so you don't need to go fully hard on the pencil. And then once you've got your circle in a circle in a circle, and you can do however many you want, I have one, two, three, four rings, um, you don't have to have that many. And then we're just going to draw a line down the middle, line across, I didn't really get that very central, like I say. I'm not the most precise person, I like to wing things a little bit. 
but that's why you've got a rubber. There we go, it's a bit more precise. So, just then a few more lines, going diagonally, and also on the other side, like so. And you can do as many lines as you want, it's just a kind of guideline, so you can then just do another one like this, kind of super fine, you don't need them to be None of these lines are going to stay on the page. Once we've drawn our mandala, we're going to rub them out. So just bear in mind with that, don't press too hard because we do want to rub it out once completed. So as you can see now, I have my outline for the mandala. I'm just going to draw a little dot in the middle. In case you can't see that, I'm just going to bring that closer there. There we go. So, yeah, all looks a bit strange right now, but now is where we're gonna fill in all these details. So, first of all, what I'm gonna show you on a piece of scrap paper is kind of different styles of details we can fill in. We're gonna start in the middle, we're basically gonna work our way around, adding shapes and patterns in these kind of segments until we get a beautiful mandala pattern blooming. So there's a couple different styles of mandalas people like to do. A lot of them are flower based, so kind of petal shapes. So simple petal shapes can be done like this. Really easy, just arched petals. And often they'll get bigger and bigger each outer layer we come. And then you can always add like lines in them and all sorts. But yeah, so there you kind of petal shapes. Other shapes we can do are more triangular. And this is often nice if you want to create like a mandala sun, kind of a bit more Aztec kind of design. And we can just do simple triangles. So literally lines of lines. And again, they can get bigger and bigger, kind of each layer. Um, dot work, dot work's great on mandalas. So loads of nice little dots there. Um, we can also do circles. It's a bit larger than that, we can have circles. And also layers of lines. So these are all just gonna, simple ideas that are gonna build up the pattern within this mandala. If it all seems quite confusing right now, don't worry, it will all click into place once we get going. But basically, right now, we just want to think about these shapes that we're gonna use. So mainly this kind of petal shape, triangular shapes, dots, lines, there's kind of like loads you can choose from. And you'll see as, as I demonstrate more and more ideas as they come. So we're gonna start off by just marking out in pencil and then we're going to be doing the mandala in pen. So I'd say any set of fine liner pens are really good because you've got different shape nibs. I'll show you on this side. This is just my little template which just shows you the size of the nibs. So you'll see at the end of the pencil there is the number, and that number means how fat or thin the nib is. So this is just like a little test sheet, which just shows those sizes. But you can see there's a nice variety. So that can look really nice when we're doing our mandala to get some good contrast, to have some like fat lines, some thin lines, and you can add finer details with the really thin ones. You can do more outlines with the fat ones. But on the Zealer pen pack, it does show you on the back here the size, the sizes. So there is a little size guide, but I think it's quite nice, especially if you're new to fine liners, to just draw that a simple little chart out yourself so you just understand which numbers go with which pen. And then you've kind of got your own guide and you can see. It also comes with a brush pen, which have got like a brush kind of felt tip, which is really nice, again, for doing calligraphy and kind of things like that. But anyway... To begin with, on here, we're gonna start with our mandala shape. So I'm gonna kind of use my tr predominantly triangles and petals, and I'm just gonna see where this takes me. So I'm just going with the flow a little bit, which I like. Hello, Maddie. <laughs> Hello, everyone who's joining. So to begin with, I'm gonna use these lines as guidelines to create my first set of petals which is gonna to come to my first circle. So I've got my middle point here, 
I think I'm going to start it with a dot and then I'm going to draw petals on. So you could go straight in pen if you feel confident, but you might just want to get, if this is your first time drawing mandalas, in pencil first. So it might be a little bit hard to see with all the random lines going on, but they're just basically guidelines that help us add these petals in evenly. So there we go. So it's almost like I've got a little flower in the middle there. And then you don't have to stick fully to each segment because you might want smaller segments. Um, but then I'm going to add my next kind of line. So I'm going to add some triangles now. So keeping them inside my um, segment so that they're all kind of even in size. Like such. And then I think I'm going to use this outer line to do some triangles coming this way. So it's all just building up different shapes and patterns and you don't really have to think too hard about it. If you're stuck for ideas, just copy what I'm doing. But really, you're just thinking about different shapes all added to each layer of your circles upon circles upon circles. And the more you do this, the more you'll get ideas as to what kind of shapes you want to use. It's like that. And you can see this pattern is kind of starting to build up. So I'm going to start by using some pen now um, and as we spread out I might come back to the pencil if I want to sketch out certain bits but I'm quite confident so I don't feel like I need to keep going in pencil for too much so looking at my guide I'm going to take a nice kind of medium pen to begin with which is an O3 so here we go and you'll probably start to see clearer now that I'm using pen um, to the pattern forming so I'm going to fill my little circle in in the middle and I'm going to start that middle dot as, as a filled in, like so. And you can make these as detailed or as, as you like. You can go like full on loads of small details or you can just keep it more simple. All depends. but they are really fun to do. I first started drawing mandalas when I was traveling and I just found it so relaxing when you're just kind of chilling somewhere and you can just get out a little sketchbook and do some kind of fun, nice little drawings. So I'm gonna draw around my first circle. Like we don't have to keep these circular lines as a guide, but sometimes I think it looks quite nice depending on the pattern. bring in maybe add some more shapes to this so I'll keep going to add in my zigzags so it's just really nice relaxing And because it's not like kind of subject matter based, you don't have to worry too much about your proportions and stuff like that because you've got your guideline there to give you the place and then you can literally kind of just have fun. So again, I'm going to come around this outer line, which I think I might use a fatter pen for that. So I'm going to graduate to the fattest of the fine liners, which is the 08. And I'm going to go around this circle here. So another thing when you're drawing is spinning the paper really helps because it's nice to rest your hand down 
at the right angle and that's kind of how you get your smoothest lines. So do spin it round and you'll get smoother drawings. stick in this pen actually. Fatter pen. see kind of starts to build up hello for anyone who's joined and my mandala is taking place so while I've got this fatter pen I'm just going to go in and add a couple of little details into what I've done already so inside this row of triangles I'm just going to fill in some little smaller triangles If you're joining me right now and you are drawing along with me, then make sure you've got yourself a nice cup of tea or got your favourite tunes on in the background. And yeah, you can really kind of just zone into the drawings here. So you can see these kind of detailed layers adding up. And I'm also going to add some larger triangles into these ones. And this is all just simple shapes. Shapes within shapes within shapes. One thing you want to be careful of with using fine liner pens is they do dry relatively quickly, but once they are immediately on, they are slightly wet. So if your hand is resting on an area, then it's going to smudge it. So just be a bit wary of that. So this is why we're going inwards out. If we came outwards in, you'd end up smudging all your work everywhere. But I think during this period of time where, you know, we're all kind of stuck indoors and looking for activities to do, this is kind of like a really fairly simple start. And you can, like I say, you don't have to be an artist to do this. You literally, once you've drawn out your guidelines, Everyone knows lots of shapes and it's just putting those into the guidelines. And at first you may be sitting there thinking, oh, I can't think of what to do. If you can't think of what to do, just copy what I'm doing. Because the more you do it, the more practice, the better you'll get. You can see how my shape is starting to form now. And then I think I'm going to do a little layer of dots here. Coming round. These designs can be quite nice, like if you have a sketchbook cover or something you want to decorate. It's quite nice to draw these kind of elements of pattern and stuff like that, or a little journal. But yeah, it's 
it's all starting to take place. So I think on this inner bit, I'm just going to add some petals coming in like this. Then I'm going to come down in size on my pen to quite a small one. So I'm going to use a one. It's just this one, an O1. And I'm going to add a little bit of detailed line work into some of these shapes. size here. I'm going to go on the smallest. 005, the smallest pen. So as you can see, I'm going for quite fine details. You don't have to go for such fine details, but it does make them more interesting to look at. And you don't have to do this in black and white, you can use coloured pens if you've got coloured fine liners. Zilla do a brush pen set that are really good, that has one end is the kind of brush tip um, and the other end is a fine liner tip. And they come in loads of different colours and they can be really good for like doing mandalas and stuff. But sometimes I quite simply like black and white artwork. And when you're starting out, you know, like it's quite easy just to do the black and white before you start thinking about adding colours and making things more complicated. So, you can see my details are starting to build up. Then I think I'm going to graduate up to a fatter pen again. So I'm going to go for an 05. And I'm going to fill in some small petals inside here. Also you can fill in certain sections, so I'm going to do a second line around these and then I'm going to colour this bit in and it can look quite nice to have this contrast between white bits and filled in black sections. If you're struggling at home at the moment with being a bit isolated or if you're on your own, doing kind of repetitive um, pattern drawing can really switch you off and you know it focuses your mind on the activity in hand. So it can be really good. And also they look really pretty. Okay. 
want to get good. Also, I have like to do these on t-shirts. Um, Zilla has some paint pens, which are really great for that. And then they can be really nice presents to make for people. So you just keep going and building up the details. As much as this is my last week running these live art classes, I'm then going to be making some pre-recorded ones. So they'll be a bit shorter so that you can, um, you can still paint along with me, but you can kind of like pause bits and watch certain bits and kind of go along and my first topic is going to be watercolour so I'm going to be going into a little bit more details and some different kind of techniques you can do with there and part of that will be showing how to do backdrops which then you can add drawings on like this which look really nice but they'll be available to watch on YouTube and I'll upload them on to Instagram here so you'll be able to see them but yeah so I'll just give you a little close of you so far of what I've been doing. So you've got quite a cute little drawing there. Right, and now I'm gonna start to work a bit outwards here. So you can do your mandala kind of like I've been doing at the moment, all contained with this inner circle. So, you know, you could come right up to here and everything kind of goes in. Or at some point you can start to come out and like have it like as a petal kind of finish rather than a circular one. Um, so if that's the case, you want to know how much kind of paper you have left. So I think I'm probably going to like keep it within the circle. Although I do quite like doing petals. <laughs> So next I'm going to come down in my pen size, I'm going to go for a no 3, a nice medium kind of pen, where are you 3, yeah. I'm going to add some kind of little petal shapes, again using my boxes as guidelines. do one on the inside. Like I say, you might want to go ahead and map this all out in pencil first before you go on in pen. 
Because obviously if you make a mistake, you can rub it out in pencil. In pen, not so much, but... I've obviously done quite a few of these, so I'm going to go straight with pen. But if this is your first one, then fully draw it in pencil. Right, there we go. So my Instagram account is amykm.art. So you can follow me there to see any of my artwork. Okay, so that's quite a cute little flower. Um, and you can always, you know, at any point you might want to say, okay, I'm gonna stop here. You can always keep expanding or you can stop at any stage where you think it looks quite nice and ready. Um, I'm like thinking, you know, I could add on some more bits, but I kind of quite like it as it is. So I'm going to rub out my guidance lines now. Like I say, you can do it as big or as small, so I later might want to expand to it, but... sure all your inks dry before you start rubbing out on your actual design or else you'll smudge it household essentials just using shapes. So the more you do this, the more shapes will come to you. So I'm going to drop down in the pen and go for a nice thin pen again. It's nice just to keep varying that up, you know. And I'm going to work on this line, I think. Swap to some zigzags. Like I said, I'm being quite loose and freehand here. If you want to, you can use a ruler to draw all these shapes if you like a bit more precision. And then I'm going to go back to the big pen. So I'm always kind of swapping pen. So I've got a real variety of lines.
course at the moment that's looking pretty liney. And then I've got to go in and add all those details. I'm just gonna rub out some of my pen lines, my pencil lines, sorry. Okay. So again, before I rest my hand on it, I just wanna make sure that it's dried, which it has. Again, similar kind of shapes that we were using on the other one. I'm gonna come in with some zigzags. What I'm going to do is then I'm going to fill in a chunk of that and I'm going to use the brush pen to do that just because it's got a thicker nib so it's quicker. I'm going to fill in this section. If anyone has been drawing along with me and has created some mandalas, I'd love to see them. So do send me your artwork. And if you want to, we can also share it here for you on the Zilla Art Supplies page. keep coming back to bits and doing bits as I go. So I'm going to start to add some little dotted lines into here to break up all the straight lines. So here I'm just varying the sizes of lines that I'm doing, leaving gaps in between, just to create some different shapes and textures. Some dots here. So that's kind of to represent my wavy ocean. And then I'm going to get back to my details up here. So I'm going to draw
adding in a couple little fun circles and lines. Filling out all these different patterns. So I'm gonna come back to coloring in my black lines here. So to start off with, just use all simple shapes, triangles, circles, lines, and as you get better, if you want to get into kind of drawing and stuff, then you'll start to, you can start to use toning and shading and all sorts to create some really, really awesome mandalas. filling in these. So you can kind of come to and from bits so you don't get, you know, so you change things up a bit. And also that allows certain bits to wait to dry before you then add other layers. This is all kind of totally random. I'm not following any particular rhythm here. It's kind of quite 
repetitive with the same shapes and things I'm using. Or just like a little bit of a build up over time. Hello for anyone who's just joined. I'm just doing a little sunset mandala. It's a very pattern and line work based sunset scene. It's really easy for anyone just to sit and do it at home. You could even do it like while the TV's on. Oh, it's really starting to build up lots of pattern and everything now. And then I just have my inner ring here to kind of fill in. So. I think I'll do more of these. So I'm making sure that like the area that I've worked on is dry before I'm resting my hand on it. Now I can go in and add any finer details. I think I might just add a couple more dots in places. brush pen, make this line a little bit thicker. Cool, and it's one of those things you could always keep going and keep adding loads and loads of details. But I think this is about done, so I'm just going to rub out my pencil lines. Obviously checking that it's dry first. So you just 
this one up. Cool. So there you have it. I'll bring it a little closer so you can see. Nice little patterned sunset. be really creative with it and like I say just drawing with pattern in general is really therapeutic and it's very fun and easy to do because you don't have to think too hard and worry about getting things in proportion it's all just kind of shapes and build up over time but it can be really fun just to sit and do and like I say you don't need many materials for it so I hope you enjoyed my class today and I, like I said, I'll be running some more, so I will post information about that shortly. But I hope everyone has a nice and relaxing day. And I'll see you. Goodbye.